Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motive JT. I'm out here, as you can probably tell, cruising around in my new 2024 Toyota Tundra. That's right, the 2024s are out. They've been out for probably a couple weeks, something like that. And I decided to trade off the Jeep Gladiator reluctantly. I did love the Jeep Gladiator. I have no problems with the Gladiator. It's an awesome truck. If you're looking for a midsize, make sure you check out the Jeep Gladiator as well as the Toyota Tacoma. Both awesome trucks. But anyway, I traded it off and I thought I'd give you my first 100 miles, actually 117 miles impressions. And let me say right off the bat, I have missed having a full-size truck. You know, mid-size trucks are great. They really are. I have the Tacoma. I had the Gladiator. I love the Tacoma. But you just get so much more space inside of a full-size truck. I mean, look at this thing. It's like cavernous in here. It really feels great. And the power. It's got great power. This is the V6 twin turbo. And I've got to say, it is as good as, maybe better, than the V8 that I had before. It is awesome. I'll probably use that word a lot. Awesome. Because that's how I would describe this new truck. Now, I'm going to add a little caveat to this. You know, when it first came out, I went and test drove the first one. I've talked about that before. And after thinking about it for a while, I wasn't really a big fan. And what I really wasn't a fan of was the appearance. And I think it's because it has that big giant grill on the front. And unless you go with black, unless you like the grill, but unless you go with black, it really stands out. On this truck, which is black, it just blends in. It looks aggressive on the front of this truck because it blends in, I think. So I don't have any issues with the appearance at all. Love the looks of the truck. I think it's awesome. And I have to say, I've had other trucks. I've had Rams. I've had Fords. Um, drove a Chevy, I think, in high school. It was an extended single cab giant truck. This is my favorite version. It feels, at least, the biggest on the inside, the most comfortable, but it's easy to drive. I don't know what Toyota does. Maybe it's the slope of the hood. I don't know, but the way they design it, it doesn't feel as big as it is. And believe me, it is a big truck. It's a honking big truck, but it doesn't feel that way. Placing it on the road, driving it, just feels good. And I would suggest, if you're in the market for a full-size truck, check out the Tundra. Drive the Ford, drive the Chevy, check out the Tundra. Now, it's not going to be at least the SR5, the version I have, as flashy inside. You really have to go up to the 1794, maybe the Platinum, definitely the Pro, if you want all of the bling and flash that you can get out of the Tundra. Still don't think it's going to be as flashy as, say, the Ram, but it'll come close. Everything is intuitive. I love that. I've gone from Tundra to Tundra, this is my third or fourth, I don't know, as well as Tacomas, and since I'm used to the brand, I don't really have any issues maneuvering through screens and using stuff. It's all pretty darn easy, and I like that. The learning curve is very, very low. Now, as far as the ride, the ride quality, it is smooth. I took uh, a couple people the other day uh, in it. We went to dinner or something, and I've got to say, they commented on how smooth it was, as well as how big it was. It was funny. My wife was sitting over in the passenger seat. Stepdad was in the back on the right side or the passenger side, and she was worried about him having enough room. He's tall. He's like six foot nine or something. Nah, six four, six three, something like that. But anyway, he's tall. And he didn't have any problems back there. He probably had, I don't know, at least a, a good foot, maybe more between his knees and the seat. And she was where she wanted to be. And my wife is not real short either. She's about five foot eight ish. Maybe she shrunk five foot seven. I don't know. But she had plenty of room as well. Something else that I really love about full size trucks, particularly the Tundra, again, is just how massive it is on the inside. 
Now, we have to talk about fuel economy because I think, maybe falsely, that is one of the things that we all thought was going to improve greatly when Toyota announced they were going to a six-cylinder twin-turbo Tundra. And I have to say, and I'm going to put a little asterisk by this, there's been a lot of just sitting and running time in this truck. When I picked it up at the dealer, we synced up the phone. I'm still on the first tank of gas, though. But we synced the phone, went over a couple of things, and then when I brought it home, I've done some more things in the truck, and it's like 99 degrees out here right now. Feels like 106 or something. So when you're outside sitting in a black truck, yeah, I'm going to have it on and have the air conditioning running. So take this MPG figure, I guess, with a grain of salt. Right now, it shows a whopping 12.5 miles per gallon. Again, a lot of that is fuel just being burned while I'm doing stuff inside the truck. You know, syncing my phone, going through the radio stations, running through the screens all that kind of stuff. So I do look for a massive improvement after this first tank of gas and I'm not doing that kind of thing anymore. Now, as far as quality goes, you know, this was a redesign in 2022, I believe. I believe that's when the new redesigned Tundra came out. Everything has been spot on. I haven't found anything yet that would uh, signal bad quality to me. All of the seams, the materials, the surfaces, all that stuff are spot on. No issues, no weird gap problems, things like that. At least nothing that you would catch with the naked eye. I'm sure if you got out some sort of a feeler gauge or something and went around checking all the gaps and things, you probably would find differences because there are tolerances out there, obviously. So I don't have any issues with it. It's been pretty much spot on as far as that goes. There is something else I want to mention. I'm going to close with this because I've talked at length about how much I hate this feature, and that is the auto stop function. This has that. It has auto stop. It has the button down there that you can push to turn it off every time you restart the truck. But there is something kind of cool about it. Up on the gauge cluster, a message will pop up that says to activate auto stop, press the, press the brake pedal harder. In other words, push it further down towards the floor. So if you don't push hard on the brake pedal, it does not engage. I like that. Kudos to Toyota for setting it up that way so that for people like me who hate that system, you don't actually ever have to engage it if you don't want to. If you're light on the brake, you're not trying to push your foot through the floorboard, it's not going to activate that. Of course, you do have the option to hit the button every time and shut it off if you want. Anyway, I just wanted to get on, give a quick update. The truck's doing great so far. I love it. Very happy with it. And really glad that I decided to make this move and go with the new, to me, and the redesigned Toyota Tundra. Leave a comment. Let me know if you've got one. What do you think of it? Do you like it? Are you disappointed? I'd be curious to know. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.